Good day everybody, I'm Hilary Bali and I'm a COVID-19 survivor. Just want to share my story with you. It's a story of hope and to tell you that if you believe that God will heal you, it will happen. My journey with the coronavirus started on the 18th of May when I had a sore throat. But during that week, it totally disappeared. Then it returned on the 25th of May when it got severe and on the 27th of May I've decided to go for testing at Paul Medi Clinic Pathcare. I thought nothing of it because I thought it's just a cold and I wouldn't get it because I thought at that stage every year I get a cold or sore throat so no won't happen to me I've also taken the precautionary measures that is very important to wear a mask to sanitize keep my social distance and most importantly wash my hands and don't touch my t-section but on the 29th of May I was at the blower sports field I suddenly felt very hot and had some chills I've decided to phone path care for my results when I phoned the lady asked me for my details and then she was a little bit quiet on the other side and said that I will receive a SMS shortly. I had a very strange feeling and immediately I knew I'm positive. Within 15 minutes I received the SMS which confirmed my suspicion. I immediately phoned my director to inform her that I'm positive and that I'm going immediately home to self-isolate. When I got home I told my husband and my kids. My kids were hysterical but I phoned my doctor to look at the way forward and the possible medication I could use. He was calming me down and calming my kids down and my younger son just told me mom we will get through this we must just pray I went into my bedroom and decided to stay to stay in that room for the next two weeks during the two weeks I've experienced many symptoms firstly on the 29th of May I started off with a high fever and then the headache started it felt like something banged my head so it was severe I used Bernardo because at that stage it's the only thing that works for coronavirus and headaches then on the 1st of June I started feeling worse my symptoms were blocked nose, extreme sore throat, it felt like glass or something like a knife stabbing me. I had a skin rash and also I started um, having breathing problems. And then I've decided to myself I must stay positive and my spiritual encounter with the Lord started. I went on my knees and I've asked God, please give me a second chance because I know I have a lot of unfinished business, but I believe I can make a change in someone else's life. Then the next day I felt a little bit better, but my health deteriorated on the 6th of June that Saturday evening I couldn't sleep I had breathing problems and it felt like my heart is going to stop and I prayed to God please God 
make me better because I surrender I give everything to you and I know that given a second chance I will change some things in my life I went into prayer for the whole night and the next day I couldn't understand why I couldn't get better because I told God I'm giving everything to you then the diarrhea symptoms started and also severe um, stomach aches luckily the next day it cleared up then I thought to myself I am now better the emotional impact it had on me was not so nice and I prayed that the 9th of June must come quickly because I want to get out of in isolation and start going back to work and doing normal activities but my earache started again on the 7th of June and I went back on my knees and asked God please God I know you have healing hands please come in and heal me luckily on the 12th of June I got out of that room telling myself that the promise I made in that room I must now start changing be a better person because I have unfinished business and I must turn to the Lord and share my story with other people because coronavirus can it can eat anybody but it is what you make of it you must always have hope never give up Goedemiddag aan een en elk. My naam is Clarice Duplessis. Graag wil ek net met julle meedeel die verhaal van my wat positief gedoets het vir COVID-19. Soos almal bekend is met my, as ek mis maar 'n baie besige dame. Altyd besig vir die werk en as ek my werk doen, dan doen ek dit met passie. Tydens die werkstyd en die lockdown tyd soos almal bekend is daarmee, het ek begin 'n bietjie siek raak. Ons was baie besig en ek het maar elke dag vir myself gesê, staan op, kom werk toe en doen dit wat jy graag vir die dag wil doen. Terwyl ek so begin baie sieker raak, het ek nou my simptome um, achtergekom wat dit kan wees en hoe ek gaan maak en gaan luister na die mense wat my so positief getoets het. En toe ek begin een seel keer kry, my boors wat toe gedrek het, waar wy ek een pompie gebruik, um, koopsere, um, flauw geword het by die huis, um, en gebraak het, moes ek ongelukkig na die dokter gaan. Die dokter het my onmiddellik na Perel Mediklinik verwees, waar ek die COVID-19 toets moes ondergaan. Op pad terug huis toe, het ek, moes ek nou dank, hoe gaan ek dit nou aan my ouwers oor vertel? Tijdens my tykie by die huis en voordat ek my uitsla krij, moes ek nog vir hulle gereed gemaakt het, indien dit wel positief gaan wees of negatief, wat ek te doen sta. Ek moes in my kamer gaan, myself isoleer en al was dit hoe moeilik, want jy is nou alleen, jy het nou nie mense wie jy moet kan gesels he. Het ek vir myself gesê, as dit positief is, weet ek wat die reels is om en self isolatie te wees. Ek het my medikasie gebruik. Ek het verseker as ek 'n borkie kos gekry het of as ek binne na die huis beweeg het, oor as waar ek was, het ek skoon gemaak agter my want ek was te bang. Ah, uh, dit word my ouers ook of dit is een van my susters, my familielede raak ook siek. Toe ek my uitsla kry en dit positief was, het ek onmiddellik my kollegas, my vriende, mense wat ek in aanraking was, het, moes ek in kende stel. Vir hulle was dit baie moeilik, want nou moet hulle vraag vraag, wat hulle graag nie wil vraag nie. Ek het vir amal wat vraag gevraag, kon ek geantwoord het. Vir baie dit gevoel, sjo, hoekom dan nog klarees? Maar ja, dit was nog wel klarees. Soos die vraag ingekom het, het ek antwoorde gegeen. Elke boodskapie, elke oproepie was baie inspirerend. Elke gebekie wat hulle vir my gedoen het, het vir my aangespoor en my geloof versterk. 
Voor baie mense voel dit as een doodsvonnis, maar vir my glad nie. Ek het gevoel dat wat ek kry en dat wat ek ontvang, moet ek met anders meedeel. Die gebede, die versterking van jou geloof het gemaakt dat jy wel een sterk persoon kan word en is. Ja, ek is een sterk persoon, alhoewel ek my maskers, my handsenitering, social distancing gedoen het, maar nog steeds was ek positief. Ek raai altyd aan vir die mense, dit wat ek geërvaar het, wil ek graag nie hee iemand anders moet ervaar nie, maar ek wil vir julle anspoor en vir julle sê, COVID-19 is nie soos amal sê, het doodsvonde sê, want dit was wel nie vir my nie. Ek sê altyd vir die mense, draai jou masker, hou jou silso distance, doen jou sansanitering of was jou handen met seep, want dit het vir my aangespoor om elke dag vir iemand anders te kon aanspoor. Wel wil ek vir julle sê, dat alhoewel ons sê, COVID-19 gaan nog vir baie lang hier by ons wees. As jy doen en jy volg die recept, en jy doen alles wat jy moet doen, en jy medikasie wat jy gebruik, sal jy beter daarvan wees. Vandag staan ek by die werk, baie gelukkig, baie gezond, en ek sê dankie vir die Heere, en dankie vir al die versterking van, van gebede, boodskapies, oproepe, want dit het gejaap, dat ek vandag hier kan wees. Ek wil net vir julle sê, spoor jouself aan, en sê vir jouself, as jy wel positief toets, jy kan wel genees. Baie dankie.